video, I'm going to show you how I achieve my perfect curly, pearl, curly hair puff <laughs> without using any equipment except for my fingers. So no gel, no brushes, no combs, no picks, just my hands. Oh, and the hair tie. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just gonna start at the front and just pull and grab a little bit at a time. I'm separating so I can keep my hair straight at the roots, as straight as possible, but not pulling too hard. So then I'm gonna start on the sides, grab a little bit and pull up and separate again. And smooth it out with my hand. And then grab this side, separate it a little bit and then pull and go up, making sure that it's as smooth as possible. I don't mind frizz, I welcome frizz. So if I have a little bit of frizz in my curly puff, I'm okay with that. Then I'm gonna start a little bit at the back. I'm not gonna grab the whole thing. I'm just gonna keep grabbing sections and I'm gonna pull my hair up to straighten my roots. Well, not straighten, but to keep my roots straight. And then grab another piece. Because the straighter your roots are, then the puffier your curly tail would be. Grab that and pull that up too. Then I'm at the bottom. Split. last piece pour out and then go straight up just like that and if you can see there are no bumps it's nice and smooth even in the back no bumps just nice and smooth so it may look like I'm pulling my hair tight now but once I put in my my hair tie it will it will get loose so we don't want our curly tail to be too tight. We don't want to pull out any hair. We want the hair to come out naturally and shed naturally, but not too much. So I'm just putting the curly tail around it. You can have your curly tail up here or lower. I usually like to have mine in the middle. And this is how I'm going to wear my hair for the rest of the day. Now I have a little bit more slack here. I don't want my curly tail to be too tight and pulling my hair. So I'm just gonna twist and twist and then lay it flat gently. And then put a hairpin on there. That way it's not too tight on my, the curly tail is not too tight on my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna pull and just fluff it out. This is one of my go-to hairstyles and um, just want to get in a hurry or if I took my, my protective style down and I'm not feeling my hair down, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to put in a curly tail. And just keep fluffing at it. I'm just trying to shape it as best I can. And my favorite part about this curly puff is that it looks so cute from the back. I mean, it looks cute from the front too, but it looks so cute from the back and full. I usually get a mirror, a second mirror, and just look behind to make sure that it's um, nice and together. Now, if it's pulling in the back a little bit, just grab a piece and gently pull it down. So then I'm just gonna smooth my edges just a little bit. Remember, I don't lay down my edges. I just let them be natural and just smooth it out with my finger. And then, of course, my flyaways. Oh, how I love my flyaways. Especially when I'm outside and the wind's blowing and I can feel the flyaways just flying. 
light around my ear. There you go. And there you go. And here it is on the back. Nice and full and cute. And do it this side. So this is my go-to curly puff style, only using my fingers, a hair tie, and one hairpin. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. That way you know whenever I upload a video. So until next time, bye!